Good day, people of YouTube. The name's AK Roming here, and today I'm bringing you a new video for PC Invasion, which is going to show you how to install some brand new custom scenery into the brand new Microsoft Flight Simulator. So some brand new freeware scenery has already dropped, despite the simulator being less than even half a week old yet. But how to install it is pretty simple. While finding the folder to drop the files in is not as simple as, say, Microsoft Flight Simulator X or X-Plane 11, it's not as hard as you might think. So we're going to go ahead, take a look. When you start your flight simulator, you'll be presented with this menu, of course, the welcome menu. You're going to go on over to the options section. From there, you head on down to general. Once that loads up, you get on over to data on the left hand side. And then once you get into the data menu, you scroll down, head on over to where it says rolling cache settings. Now look for rolling cache path, which should be the third option. And then you're going to take this very long address, you're going to, sorry, first hit this little box right here where it has the address, and it'll bring up the select folder menu. From there, you're going to take this really long address, and you're going to copy it. So how to do that is to hit that open space right there, right click, hit copy, and then you're going to cancel this menu here. Now from there, you want to bring up a brand new Explorer tab, should open up to this PC, for example. Backspace on that, make sure the address bar is clear. And then we're going to paste that address string that we got from the simulator. So once you paste it, hit enter, it'll take you to the core flight sim data folder. The folder that you're looking for is called packages. And then in packages, there's two subfolders called community and official. Now official contains all of the like airplanes and airports that Asoba has created and other various things. But what you're looking for is that community folder is that's where you're going to drop the add-on. So this particular add-on is called Warsaw City by Dreswecki Designs. It contains three custom-built airports. And after you extract that main zip file, which of course will be linked down below, it's going to give you this little folder called Warsaw City. Open it up. You, can, you should see all these uh, files, various files right here. And just back out of that, and you should... Once you put this folder inside your main flight sim data folder, restart the sim if you have it running. But if you had the sim closed when you were doing this, you just simply open it up again and go back to the home menu. Now, before we continue, I just want to say that you can find that same address string down in the description of the video. But the reason why I'm showing you how to find it for yourself is just in case yours is a little bit different from mine. But anyway, once you've completed all those previous steps, your next step is to go to the world map because now we're going to verify that this worked. So once you open up the world map, you're going to want to look for one of the three airports that you downloaded in that specific pack. Or if you have another pack, you just look for the ICA, ICAO code. You want to type it in right here. In this case, one of the airports is EPKU. So we're going to zoom on in here. And there we go. EPKU is right here. Next to it is EPKQ, which is another airport located um, included in this pack. And the third airport is to the north, EPNS. Now to verify that these are installed correctly, you're going to look for that little golden star. As you can see, all three of them have that little golden star right next to them. And if you'll notice, other airports have that little golden star too. That's because those golden stars represent custom scenery. Before, it was just the custom scenery from Asoba Studios, you know, the handcrafted airports. But now this also includes that brand new freeware add-on that we just downloaded and installed. So I'm going to go ahead and fire up a flight at EPKU, show you what it looks like. So here we have the beautiful EPKU located over in Poland. You can see we have two dudes having a conversation here, a businessman and a pilot. We have some static airplanes here as well. Various Cessnas, clearly low poly, but they're still pretty nice for little scenery aircraft. That's a, either a TBM or Pilatus that we have right here, as well as that TBM over there, which is my plane. A little hangar, a house and another house that's conjoined to it. <clears throat> and it's clearly smack dab in the middle of some farmland. And it looks really beautiful, really gorgeous scenery. Uh, the little grass uh, runway is off to the right, off screen right now. 
But this is basically the new airport. As you can tell, really simple. But this is the humble beginnings. This is, as far as I know, the first ever set of freeware scenery for the brand new Microsoft Flight Simulator. So after this, there's bound to be hundreds, if not thousands of different custom made airports spanning the entire world, just as there already is for other simulators like X-Plane 11, FSX, Prepared, so forth and so on. So really cool to see this, very happy to have it. And even though I may not fly here very often, like I am definitely gonna check it out because again, it's the first set of freeware scenery. So pretty cool stuff. Thank you, Dreswecki Designs. I hope I pronounced your name right. And I hope this tutorial was helpful to you all. Until next time, see you later.